Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'll be doing my makeup routine. So this is a highly requested video to update my makeup routine. And I do update my makeup routine almost every single season, which I know is kind of bad, but I love makeup so much and I love to switch things up a little bit, so why not? So today I'll be showing you all my tips and tricks to achieve that perfect summer glow. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, so the first step of my skincare routine is the most important part. It is skin prep. So I use the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops and I use the Sunbun SPF 50 sunscreen. Both these products are cruelty free and I find it really important to educate yourself on animal testing and use cruelty free products slash vegan products only because it's really, really sad what's happening to the animals. And I do have some links in the description below if you guys wanna educate yourself on using. Okay, so first things first, I use the Sunbun SPF 50 because sunscreen is really, really important for your skin and for your overall health and to stop premature aging and you don't want to get sunburned because I recently just got sunburned and it was awful because I forgot to wear my sunscreen. This is my first time not wearing sunscreen in over a year and it was awful. So now I reapply five times a day because the sun sets really, really late. I'm going with the Glow Recipe Dew Drops because I do want more of a glow. I don't use a lot of this product and this product is a little bit more pricier but if you guys just use sunscreen you'll still achieve that gorgeous glow but i just want to double it with the nice and my dew drops because they do smell really really good and they are a skincare product so i find it has more benefits okay guys so the next part of my makeup routine is primer primer is something that i hate to skip over because this is what's going to make your makeup last all day long and depending on the primer you use you can still achieve this healthy glow with primer and your makeup will last all day long. I have oilier skin. I like to use a tacky primer. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Paw Primer, which is a dupe for the Milk Hydrocure Primer since I'm almost out and I'm saving this for my camping trip because it's gonna be very humid and I still like to wear makeup. But I'm gonna save this because I'm almost out and this product is very expensive, but this one's around like 10 to $15, I believe, and it's amazing. So first things first, I take a little bit on the back of my hand very thick consistency and then I just apply it everywhere it's just very thick and super tacky and it still gives you that healthy glow okay guys this is an optional step but I just like to do it just to even out my skin tone I like to go in with a little skin tint sense foundation this is the essence pretty natural hydrating foundation it is a little bit light for me but I got a shade up and it just was too pinky undertone, but I just really like this one. It makes my skin tone go out really evenly, and I use the slightest amount. And this product is so natural, you won't even know that you're wearing foundation, but I just apply literally the slightest amount. I don't know, just covers up a little bit and it just looks really really natural then i go on the elf hydrating camo concealers i have these in two shades because this one is actually my real shade but i like to have a little bit of a more brightening finish but if i just use this shade i look really really pale so i go in with my actual skin tone shade first and i draw a line going down like this and going out like this and then i draw a line out here And then going in with the brightening shade. And then I go in with my Juno Co sponge that is damp. And I also blend up that concealer on my eyelids so I can have it as a base for my eyeshadow. Look how gorgeous my complexion looks. Okay guys, then I'll be going in with the ColourPop Soul Bronzer. It's like a bronzing balm and it's Phenomenal. It's literally like butter. So I like to dig my finger around in it and it literally melts. Look at that. Okay guys, once I'm all bronzed up with that product, I like to go in with the Patrick Ta Cream Blush. This product is literally my favorite product on earth. Look how much I used it. I have it in the shade She's That Girl and I'm obsessed. I use it like everything and also especially it works really great if you want to cover up your mistakes. And this product is a little bit pricier but it is worth every single coin. Okay guys, then I go into my nasty cover effects little highlighting drops. I think you're actually supposed to mix it into your foundation because they are very strong. But I don't like doing that. I personally don't always wear foundation, but when I do, I just use it to even out my skin tone. But I take a little bit of my finger, dot on my nose, and on the highest points on my face. Look at that, look at that glow. I can't, gorgeous, phenomenal. And this is cruelty free. It is a little bit on the pricier side, 
but it is so good and I highly recommend getting it. Okay guys, now on to powder products. So since I used a lot of cream products and I do have oilier skin, I like to set those products so they last all day long. So I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but it is not cruelty free. Unfortunately, I didn't actually buy it. I got it as a gift, but I'm really, really sad to hear that it's not. So I don't recommend buying it because this product is very, very expensive and it is not cruelty free and it's not all that. Do you want to finish up the product just because I feel really, really bad about wasting product? I like to put the translucent powder everywhere I get oily and that is almost everywhere on my face, but I do love that glow like I said. Okay guys, like I said, I like set all my cream products. I'm going to use the Physicians Formula's Butter Bronzer. I don't believe the Physicians Formula it's cruelty free anymore. They announced that they stopped being cruelty free in around like September. So that's really, really sad, but I did buy it before that. So I did buy when they were cruelty free. So yes, it just, I don't recommend buying from them if they're not cruelty free. So I just go in the same area. bronze is looking again the color problem really really helps build that base but i want to set it in with the powder okay guys again like i said i like to set in everything with the powder and i don't know why the blush is not really picking up on camera but i do use a little bit just because i do want to show you guys this amazing blush this is the milani blush in luminoso it is phenomenal i recently heard about this blush it's like a dupe for all the high-end blushes and it is gorgeous let me show you see that and it maintains that glow but it is a powder blush all right, that's how my makeup is looking and yet it is still maintaining that gorgeous glow even though I did put powders on top of it so don't be scared to set your makeup with powders because this will make your makeup last all day long especially in the heat during the summer okay guys now we're all up close and personal and now we're gonna be doing the eye so first things first I'm gonna go in with the essence lash and brow clear brow gel I like to use this just to set my brows in place. This does not hold the brows, unfortunately. I'm being honest, it does not hold the brows whatsoever. I can't find a good one except the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but it is really, really expensive, so. Okay, but now into the eyes while well, I'm waiting for this to dry. I again take that Soul Cream Bronzer, so use your cream bronzer as an eyeshadow. This is the best hack I've ever learned. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand and I take this brush. It is disgusting, I know but it is the Morphe M456 and take any small brush that has like very thin bristles and use it as your cream eyeshadow blush. Okay guys, so what I do with that cream bronzer is I like to draw a wing with that cream bronzer. I like to smoke out that wing going out to again make that face lift effect with just using makeup. Then I'll be going with a clean blending brush. I'll be using this brush. This blush is clean. It just is a little bit stained. This is how the makeup is looking. I'm obsessed. Guys, then I'll be doing my eyeliner. I do have a tutorial in my video, which is my Weekend My Life summer vlog. Click the eye up here, here. For my eyeliner tutorial, it is in my vlog. Yeah, so if you guys want to watch that. You guys, I'm not done with my eyeliner, but I want to show you my gorgeous foster kitten. Look how pretty she is. We are just fostering her, but she is beyond gorgeous. Look how pretty. <laughs> okay, guys, so I know my eyeliner does kind of look a little bit funky and not the same. It's just because I did just run out of eyeliner. Okay, then I'm going to use my eyeliner curler. I did get this from like a Dollar General store a couple years ago. It has been doing me so good since that. I know, kind of nasty, but it is an eyelash curler, so I don't know how much you have to replace them. And I go with the Essence Waterproof Mascara. This product is literally $5. If you want to get a mascara, get this one. It is literally $5. Hey guys, so now that my brows are dry, they were dry a long time ago, but I just want to do it right now. Um, I'm going to use the Revolution Soap Brow, and I did spray it with my setting spray, and then I just go in with that product, and this locks it in place. Okay guys, so now for my lips, the lip combo that I use is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Sugar and Spice. Really, really good. So I first things first take it and I outline my lips. And then I go in with the NYX Butter Glosses. These are so, so good. I got them in my advent calendar, but this is in the shade Caroline and Angel's Food Cake. And these are so good. 
Okay guys, then I'm gonna go in the Revolution Infinite Conceal and Define 12 hour setting spray. Well, this is my final makeup look. And I did do a natural makeup look once. This is how it turned out. It actually looked so good. If you guys do want a tutorial on that, give this video a huge thumbs up and watch this video all the way through. And comment down below if you guys do want that. Love you guys so much and bye.